Speaking of life changing, I don't know how this is going to change these gentlemen's lives, mm -hmm. but the Kelsey brothers, mm -hmm. Travis and Jason Kels, um, am I saying their name right? NFL Kelsey. Kelsey. It's Kelsey, Kelsey or Kelsey? Kelsey. Kelsey. It's Kelsey. 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 Okay, I always say, I always fuck it up. You say Kels? Yeah. The Travis. Fuck? No, I don't know. Oh, Honestly, Kelly? I don't know how. Like, you call Travis, niggas Kelly? All like Kelly? Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. All right, cool. How Reggie know that? Bro. I know cause, because I really like their podcast. Oh, you oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, oh you're tapped. Oh, you tapped in. Well, because um, a lot of the clips show up. It's like virtually, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. New, and Heart, I New love, Heights podcast. I love when he has wifey on, Kylie mm. Kelsey, when mm. she like talks about him and like the husband shit that he does. Jason. Yeah. Uh, Jason. Yeah, Jason mm -hmm. Kelsey. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I love it. I like their little stories. I want well, to check it out now. The Kelsey Brothers, they just inked a new deal. Last week, we reported on um, some more podcast news. This week, we got uh, some additional podcast news with the Kelsey Brothers. $100 million three-year deal with Wondery. Damn. How much? Yeah. Three years, one million dollars. One hundred million. Oh, I'm. Uh, you I said, said it right one? the first time. You said it right the first oh, time. Oh shit! Hold up, I <laughs> fucked that up. No, no, you one hundred right. yeah, to make sure. million dollars. One million of them is nothing. No, no. <laughs> Let's be very clear. Pro <laughs> Let's be very fucking clear. Well, that's like clear. one day. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're we're in the podcast space. Um, I like to consider myself very educated with just podcasting and deals, and all of us are educated in this in the field, business of in the it. business of yeah. podcasting. Um, the theory around podcasting over the last two years, in particular, has been there isn't any money in the space. We've seen a lot of major companies pull their money. Uh, pull their investments from podcasting. We see Spotify no longer does exclusive deals with content creators, with creators. They do more so licensing deals or brand, uh, not, let me not say brand deals, but they'll work with the creators and they say, hey, you can distribute on every platform, but just have Spotify on the artwork, right? right, right. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay. So yeah. um, wow. we've heard that there's no money in podcasting, but it seems like the people at the top of the food chain seem to have found it. Yeah. Mm. Is yeah. it all the people? Last week, Manny got mad at me when I said them whites is not taking nothing less than 100 million. <laughs> I'm seeing it trend. I'm waiting for some ethnic people to get these dollars. I'm waiting. No, real talk. I, I want to see um, a cultured podcast make 100 million. Yeah, I think that would. Real my, talk. That would. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish, finish it. No, I, finish I, it. I, I think it depends on the content because you depending on the content, you need to sell. Um, uh, you, you need to be able to market it to different um, audiences, different audiences, and different. Um, I just lost the word. Demographics, Demographic? um, investors, mm -hmm. oh, gotcha. um, and ads, um, advertising agencies. That's what I was looking for. So, if your content is kind of off color, then it's probably hard to sell to other. So, Damn. you know what it, I mean? Is this off color? Is this? <laughs> do you truly believe like this is a race thing? For sure. And I, I hate to die on that hill. I don't know because um, I don't think it is. I hate to die on that. To hill. Pierre's point. Yeah. Like, I agree that yeah. people that invest in, the, like, these crazy billions of dollars into this, mm -hmm. they are thinking, like, okay, like, who can we um, market this to? Which is so crazy because Call Her Daddy is, like, a salacious, like, sexy podcast. That mm -hmm. That's, like, her brand. Mm -hmm. And they still invested this much. So it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> they invested in her network. Okay. Yeah. But right. still, yeah, but five like, shows under the one yeah. creator, like the, the the head of that snake is Alex Cooper. Mm -hmm. The the draw of that network is Call Her Daddy. But her show or her deal is predicated on five shows under her network. Yeah. Whereas this is a podcast deal between these two football players. Oh my God. So the one show, mm -hmm. 100 million. Well, yeah, at, the, mm -hmm. at the same Three time, years. too, when, when, you, when you boil down the numbers, they're each getting like, a, a little bit over eight and a half million a year oh. for the three years because it's gotcha. two of them. If, gotcha. if, if the split is down the middle. Breaking oh, you're saying if they split it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Name me one other podcast who isn't white based that has made that money. I don't know. <laughs> who has made that type of money? Yeah. Re uh, as of recent. Maybe, well, I don't know. I don't know. As but recent. maybe Jay Shetty, he's not white. He's a huge okay. podcast. Uh, for he's, sure. he's on 100 million. He's 100 million enough. I, I don't have know if he has a deal. Yes, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm talking about deal. the 100 million enough. Oh, like the deals. Yeah, okay. I'm talking about the 100 million know. dollar deals you that have been rolling out. You think Gillian Wallow got that? I don't know if they ever said their Not actual number. Million. I don't want to hate on them good brothers. I know they got a lot of money from yeah. Barstool. I don't know if it was 100 ends. Yeah, I feel like we would all know. <laughs> yeah, they would have they like, yeah. announced it. It would have been no on bullshit. the press release. They put out some really good content. I'm a fan of their stuff, but I don't know if they saw 100. A lot of rants from their peers would have happened. And I want to be corrected. Real talk. I want to come in here and say, yo, there's some people that look mm -hmm. like us mm -hmm. that just did that all. That got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Real talk. Is it a demographic thing? It, it. We spoke briefly about that when Mandy was here. It is a demographic thing to an extent, right? Because 
if a company feels that we can market Caucasian people more because there's more of them in this country, I'm just saying maybe by their metrics, mm -hmm. they might look at the other ethnic podcasts and go, I'm sorry, you know, you guys can be as entertaining as you are as you mm -hmm. want. The numbers don't read what we want on paper. I never looked you know? at that. Now, you know what I'm saying? I, I do know that the Kelsey brothers, they have uh, one of the top podcasts in the world. Yeah, they were right? doing like really that, well. That's a fact. They were doing and, really and well. I do, I'm sorry, let me have to cut you off. I do want to add, all of these podcasts that get this money are very good podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that to be escape from my point here. Mm -hmm. Like, they're yeah. really we, strong. We know that's not your point. Yeah, okay, yeah, good. Yeah. I'm just saying, there are some podcasts that aren't white, mm -hmm. who are produced really well, ran really well, and they don't get that type of money opportunity. Yeah, like I'm waiting. Uh, mm -hmm. I forgot the name of. Ju I think Julian Edelman's um, podcast is kind of in that same vein because he brings on a bunch of different guests. Former Patriot. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Former Patriot okay, receiver. Okay. Got you. But I think it's it's fr frat boy humor, which is always going to go, mm -hmm. which is the foundation of like a bar stool, which is how Pat McAfee he got all of his bread. Mm -hmm. It's he like say that. Bitch on air. Yeah, he can say whatever. He could nah, call he a called, white bitch a white bitch. Could, yeah. 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 That nigga said, what the K fuck? K K wow. The repercussions are different for them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, Reggie? It yeah. is a little bit you different. I'm not even Stephen A. Smith did that. I'm not going to do that. Damn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. And he never. He spoke, up. Um, yeah. he spoke down to uh, one of the higher ups. I forget the guy's name. Yeah, he had beef with execs. Oh, like, yeah, 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 he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he has a little bit long, uh, a longer leash than most for sure. uh, because he did it a different way. And I think um, the demographics, at least, Cross contaminate between the Kelsey brothers and Pat McAfee. Mm -hmm. I think it stems from that. again that frat boy humor, um, and also I don't think we should fail to mention one of them is dating the biggest artist in the world. He still will and won multi Super For Bowls. Sure. I think he won three, two Super Bowls, two, two or three Super Bowls. Regardless Travis? of the Super Bowl, there's a lot not of niggas really. with microphones and Super Bowl rings. There's not a lot of people who is dating Taylor Swift. Tracy is still a thing. Who? Who? <laughs> Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. That's oh, what Tracy. they call them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was circulating last Tracy? year. Yeah, Tracy. Yeah. Tra I didn't. I didn't. Isn't yeah. that just combining Travis and Kelsey? And Kelsey. <laughs> Are you know. sure? That's I, don't I don't think know I'm, if that's I don't the know thing. about yeah, that. Y'all yeah, not be fucking up with the whites. My <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> I'm about to say, Taste, wait. I'm about to say, wait, hold up. I'm about to get it. That was circulating last year. <laughs> trailer. I think it was trailer. Was it? Oh, oh I, it was trailer. 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 There there go. Go. He said Tracy, but that's just, that's just combining his own name. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to have your back, Alex. My fault. Good looking to it. I love y'all in here. Y'all keep me sharp. But I think that all plays plays in in this. I think, again, you get to cast a wider net. I do think there are a ton of black creators that deserve that. For sure. And maybe not a ton but I know I can name at least one, two, three that do deserve something like that. We talked about Stephen A. Smith. Mm -hmm. I don't see how he doesn't, or Shannon Sharp, mm -hmm. how he doesn't feel like he's valued as something like that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a Joe Budden, we know his audience. We know his consistency. We know what he brings to the right. table. I think there's certain <laughs> black creators um, who do deserve that type of look. And for whatever reason they haven't gotten it, I we don't see the numbers. Right. I had a conversation the other day. My mom was asking me because... She was super proud and super excited when Charlemagne shouted us out on Brilliant Idiots. Salute the mom, salute Charlemagne, Charlemagne. For sure. Like, mm -hmm. Because, again, you got to understand, the generation before us, they grew up in radio. Yeah. Charlemagne's the biggest thing in radio for the last 10, 15 years. So when somebody like that acknowledges us, we're super fucking grateful. For sure. But then when our family hears it or when yeah, they see different. it, they're they're like, oh. it, it clicks a little hey, bit dude. different Even for my them. mother, my mother Nigerian, she was, oh my God, Charlemagne. <laughs> oh, Damn. Charlemagne, I watched the Breakfast Club. I wish my mom spoke English. Mm. All right. <laughs> Reggie. Damn. Because right. then she would know how fire that is. Right. But it's, it's a real thing. <laughs> Say how she would have said it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not about to do that. <laughs> 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 that would be fire, right? Oh. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when Charlemagne uh, acknowledges yeah. us and what it is that we're doing, like that's a that's a real big thing in my family group chat. Everybody's right. super hype. Aww. And so my mom comes to me, she's like, her, her wheels start turning. Yeah. Because now she wants to know how can we take this podcast to another level? <laughs> that's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling I'm like, yo, Ma, I promise you. I'm studying all of the analytics. I'm looking at the charts. I know yeah. how to read the data. Yeah, like yeah. I'm in these <laughs> these conferences. Like if I knew, I would. And I feel like we're doing everything that we can. Obviously, there's tremendous growth on the podcast and the numbers and the yeah, audience and everything. The listeners. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when it comes to certain like other creators where I don't have the visibility and none of us have the access to their numbers, we don't know. I don't know what Travis Kelsey is I'm, doing I'm gonna keep on the back end. Salute to all my niggas, but niggas going to say when they made $100 million. <laughs> And, and you gonna see it somehow. Or another. You go, you go, salute. To, you yeah. gonna oh, see it. You gonna the, see it. Do you know the phrase? Do you know the phrase? Tank. There will be signs. There yeah. will be signs. Ooh, episode title. Oh, <laughs> I like that. That's real smooth, yeah. Reggie. There will be signs. Mm -hmm. Say more, no. 